Alright, GM Leafer is finally back with the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's been a while since, uh, you know, I've updated you guys. So let's quickly go through everything. Last episode, we traded away Evgeny Malkin. It was time to get rid of him. We are trying to win a cup with Crosby now. So we got rid of Gino and we got a starting goaltender finally in Carter Hart. So I'm very excited to have him there. We have Forsberg backing him up. Um, and then looking at our offense, Gensel, Crosby, Raquel, Kapanen, Granlin, Zucker, Tanev, Stasny, McCann, and then Del Cole, Stahl, and Tierney. And then on D, we got Ekholm and Latang, Pedersen, Hamannick, Joseph, and Marino. So, the Penguins are looking very good. We are going to simulate... Um, oh, we are starting the playoffs. It's been not long. So, we are starting the playoffs with this team. Got rid of Geno Malkin, and we are playing the Carolina Hurricanes in the first round of the playoffs. So injuries are on already and everything, so it's time to view the lines of the Carolina Hurricanes, see what we are coming up against in the first round of the playoffs. So their first line being Tevo Teravainen, Sebastian Ajo, and Svechnikov, okay. Um, pretty good first line, I think we match up pretty good there. Second line being Timoshov, Nekas, and uh, Jesper Fast. Um, so I think we take their second line. Third line being Fogel, uh, Ponomarov, Ponomarov. Uh, Jordan Stahl, and then High Rose, Coleman, and Andrew Kopp. So I think we take their 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 top six. I think we take their forwards in general, to be honest. On defense, they got Slavin and uh, Hamilton, Pesci and Fleury, and then Brady Shea and Jake Garner. In net, they have Thatcher, Demko, and Cal Pedersen, so, or, or Peterson. So they have a pretty good tandem in net. So I think I like our chances against this team. We have home ice advantage for a reason, but our records were pretty close. But without further ado, we're heading into game one with the lines the way they are. Um, I think we should easily take the Carolina Hurricanes, but you just, you never know. You really don't. So here we go. Game one at home against the Carolina Hurricanes. How will it go for the Pittsburgh Penguins? First period and okay, not a good start. Ajo and Nakas gets uh, the first two goals of the series. I hope I'm saying his name right. I don't think I am, but anyways. Um, we need a better second period here. Second period, we get one back. Michael Del Cole, the fourth liner, getting one past Thatcher Demko. Heading into the third, we need someone to tie it up here. We did not have a good start, and I'm a little worried about this Pittsburgh Penguins team. We don't want to fall into a hole early, especially when we think we should be able to win. And Sidney Crosby gets us a power play goal. And then Jake Gensel gets us another power play goal. Literally a minute later. 3-2 lead for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And Hayden Fleury ties it up with four to go in the third. We are heading to overtime. What a game. Um, we should have won this game. We have to close it games down like this defensively. But without further ado, game one is heading into overtime. Who will be the hero for either side? Hopefully, the Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Penguins will come out on top against the Carolina Hurricanes, but who knows? Um, I, I'm not too sure what to think of this team, to be to be fair. I'm not really too happy with the game one start. And we do end up winning it. Joseph gets us the game-winning goal. I think he's on the second pairing, maybe the third. We take game one, 4-3. to three. Looking at the three stars, Gensel with a goal and, and two assists. Crosby with a goal and two assists. Hayden Fleury with a goal and an assist. So pretty good coming over from the Penguins here. So Crosby at three points, Gensel three, Del Cole. Uh, so pretty good stuff here. Not the greatest from Kapanen and Zucker, but all good. And then looking at Carter Hart, a 921, pretty good. That will win us a hockey game. So we come out on top. I was a little nervous that we might have uh, choked that lead there, but we're good. And now we have Marcus Pedersen, who is now injured. Okay, so we have an injury already. Um, so Joseph's going to go up a line. He was actually on the third pairing, and Edmondson's going to come in. And, uh, yeah, that looks good to me. All right, so we were able to slot in Edmondson easy. Good to have that defensive depth, that is for sure. So we're heading into game two. We already have an injured player, but we have the depth where we're feeling pretty comfortable. Um, so the game-winning goal went to Joseph last game. He is now on the second pairing due to the injury to Pedersen. So game two, we're looking to take a 2-0 series lead heading to Carolina. Let's see what we can do. First period, and we're starting off bad again. 
We are down 2-0 in the first period again. Zveshnikov getting both goals. Something needs to be changed here. I'm going to look into the pairings maybe. To give up two goals in the first period back-to-back -back games is just unacceptable from a team who's trying to contend for a cup, trying to win a cup. Um, second period, 4-1. I think this game's in the dust. Jordan Stahl, Hammond it gets one back for us, and then Zveshnikov gets a hat-trick. So, third period, unless... I mean, I've seen some crazy things. I'm a Leafs fan. I've seen four one leads disappear like it's nothing. But I think Carolina will be taking this game um, no problem. Ricard Raquel, hey, if you guys want to shut me up, shut the GM up. But Ricard Raquel cutting the lead into two with five to go here. Can anyone else make it a closer game potentially? And Andrew Kopp scores an empty netter. So we lose game two, five to two. I don't know if it was due to... Um, having Pedersen injured, but back-to-back -back games giving up two goals in the first period. You're just digging yourself an early hole. Not good stuff from this Pittsburgh Penguins team. Um, and maybe we just got to change something. I don't know what necessarily needs to be changed. I'm going to try putting Joseph back on that third pairing with Marino and see if Edmondson will slot in with Hamannick okay. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Edmondson, Latang, Ekholm, Hamannick, Marino, Joseph. Let's see how that works out. Offensively, I mean, we're getting goals. Two goals last game ain't the greatest. If we really wanted to, we can switch captain R Ricard Raquel. But we'll keep it the way it is for now. I'm not really worried about our offense. I'm more worried about our defense here. So, game three. Series is tied. One apiece. We're heading to Carolina. First period, one nothing. So, a much better first period. That's what I like to see. Mikael Granlin getting us on the board. We don't give up a goal in the first period for the first time we don't give up two goals for the f in the first period for the first time so that's nice uh second period make it three to one Aho ties the game up but then paul stastny the trade deadline acquisition gets one to uh give us a lead again and then crosby extends our lead to two so uh on to the third period here let's close out this game and dougie hamilton gets them right back in it the lead is cut into one and he gets one early so the Hurricanes got a lot of time to come back into this game, and they come right back into it, make it a 3-3 hockey game as we take a uh, penalty there, which just wasn't great. And uh, now there's four to go. This Penguins team, man, I don't know what it is. We have, oh my, and Brett Pesci just ending it there with a minute 21. As I was saying, I don't know what's going on with this Penguins team. I feel like we should be winning the series easily, and we're just not. Um, so it's time to make some major changes. I think that's what's time. Um, I, I don't know what's happening, boys. This team should be way better, and it just really isn't. Uh, Pedersen is back, so that's actually very nice to have him back. Hopefully that can help us out. Because uh, since he was gone, we have lost every game. So, um, yeah, let's put Pedersen back in. Good to see that there, um, and we'll leave him where he's supposed to be. Um, looking on offense, I'm going to put Kapanen on the first line. I don't know if that's going to do much. Um, I'm going to put um, Michael Del Cole on the third line. He did um, get a goal in the first game, so maybe we can get, get him going. And McCann, we're going to leave there. Uh, not much really to be changed. The team's got to be better. It's just plain and simple. Um, and then our starting goaltender that we traded for has an 880 this this uh, postseason. It's not good enough to win us a game. Simple as that. So we need better goaltending from Carter Hart. We need the team all around him to be better, to be honest. So we're heading into game four. We're down two to one. We do not want to go home down three to one. So let's even up this series here. First period, it's a 1 1 hockey game. Tevu Teravainen opens up the scoring, but then Travis Hammond it gets it back for us. So we're heading into the second, getting outshot. Uh, not not too heavy, but we're getting a shot and we're tied at one. Second period, make it two to one. Jake Gensel getting us a goal to give us a lead. We need that insurance marker to feel safe. We're getting a shot 25 to 14. We asked for a better game out of Carter Hart. He's given us a really good game. Uh, we need that insurance marker. This is for Carter Hart, boys. Let's go. Third period, we need a big win. We started with a power play. Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby gets us the goal. We are up 3 to 1 with 13 to go. We need to, I, I cannot stress, we need to, need to, need to close out this game. Hopefully the line changes that we made will show us that we can close out with what we have. Oh no, Ponomarov. I I I don't I can't say his name right. Makes it three to two and we luckily hold on as we get a shot 41 to 24. What a game from Carter Hart. Um he has a 39 save performance when we asked him to be better so 
good on us, and the offense was there as well. So looking at the three stars, Carter Hart's got to be up there. Crosby with three points again. Yeah, Carter Hart, 951 save percentage. That's exactly what we love to see, so good from him. And, uh, yeah, just a, an all-around better game. The series is now 2-2, heading back home, which is what we wanted. So good stuff. We definitely want to take the series lead. We don't want to go back to Carolina down 3-2. So we need a big game uh, five here, right? So we need a big game five here. Let's see what Pittsburgh can do. First period, 0-0 hockey game. I think this is the first time in the series that we've went a first period scoreless. So uh, we're heading into the second with a 0-0 tie. Uh, we're not getting a shot this time around, which is nice. Second period. Okay. All right. Martin, he's been lighting it up against Pittsburgh in this first round. We need someone to give us a goal here. We are just not playing good offensively. We're getting a shot once again. Um... We need someone to step up, the captain, Sidney Crosby, um, the new acquisition, and uh, Paul Stastny. I need someone to tie it up here. We don't want to go back to Carolina, man. Down 3-2. We only have two minutes left, and it looks like that is game. We lose game 5, one nothing. I don't know what else needs to be done with this Pittsburgh team, and now Mikael Granlin is out. If I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty frustrated with this team right now. I don't know how... We are just not winning hockey games. Simple as that. So is Sam Lafferty our best choice here? Oh, let's put in Jankowski. He's obviously not a center, so we're going to need a center to come up here. Oh, he can play center, so that's not bad. What we did here is we put down Cole on the second line, Zucker on the third. Backs against the walls once again. I feel like that's been the story with this team. I don't know if, if, if we take another early exit. I think next year we blow it up. Like, this is ridiculous. We should be winning with this hockey team. It's as simple as that, and we just aren't. So, game six, back against the wall. We're down three to two. We're trying to force a game seven. Um, let's see what we can do. First period. All right. Yeah. Martin again, just he's going off, and Ajo with two. This Pittsburgh Penguins team is just not it, guys. It just really is. In second period, 6-3. I, I don't know what's going on. Eric Stahl gets us on the board. Martin lighting it up again. Timoshov, Jordan Stahl, Gensel, Paul Stastny. We're down by three. I don't know. Let's see what happens in the third period. I I'm already writing off our season. Um, ridiculous. I'm, to say the least, just frustrated with this team. Um, and I think next year uh, we're going to have to blow it up. Uh, I, I don't know what much further I can do with this team. Carter hurts our future, and maybe Crosby's on the move next year. I, I just don't know. This is... Unreal. Kapanen makes it a two-goal game, but it doesn't matter. Um, we're out in the first round once again. Um, and this Penguins team, man, I, I don't know what to say about them. I, I don't know what to say about them anymore. It's frustrating. It really is. Um, I thought I made some good moves. Picking up Carter Hart. Uh, picking up uh, Paul Stastny for the depth. And um, it just didn't work out. So next year, we have... Some thinking to do, and I want your guys' opinion in the comments. Is it time for Crosby to leave Pittsburgh? But uh, that's something we'll decide next video. As you can see, the Colorado Avalanche have won the, the Stanley Cup. Good for the Avalanche. Um, so we're pretty much simming to the draft. The draft and all that stuff we will do next video, no problem. Um, but yeah, disappointing season to say the least. Um, let's see who has retired here. Marlowe, uh, Spezza, anyone from... Pittsburgh here no okay so that's that's okay with me um yeah I don't know it's gonna be an interesting offseason to say the very least guys um it's a, it's a little annoying like I said but it is what it is so uh we'll kick, quickly see uh who won the trophies all around and uh and then we'll go from there so looking at the awards looking at the team awards Avalanche won the cup uh the President's Trophy went to the Panthers Clarence S. Campbell went to the Avalanche. Prince of Wales went to the Leafs. Um, and then looking at the individual awards, Art Ross going to Steven Stamkos. We have the Hart Memorial going to Stamkos. The James Norris going to Nick Letty. Interesting. Uh, Lady Bing going to Steven Stamkos. He's cleaning up. Uh, he's won three trophies so far. Calder Memorial going to Lundell. Uh, Con Smythe going to Nate Mack. Uh, Vesna going to Tuka Rask, who's in Edmonton right now. Interesting. Uh, Willie Man Jennings going to Sergei Bobrovsky. Uh, Bill Masterton going to Ferraro. Uh, Jack Adams going to that guy. Uh, the Selkie going to Barkov. Makes sense. And that is it. So, 
Um, oh, that was not it. My bad. Um, Stamkos just won another one. I just didn't expect him to. Stamkos won the Ted Lindsay, and Maurice Richard went to Tyler Sagan. So, pretty good stuff coming from Steven Stamkos. He's still going off. Looking at the playoff tree, it was the Avs and the Leafs in the finals, and the Avs took it in six. So, um, interesting stuff. Um, but guys, that is going to be it for this episode of the Gem Mode. Next episode, we'll be going through the off season and maybe starting the next year sim. But I need you guys in the comment sections below. Let me know what we're doing with this Pittsburgh Penguins team. We should have won. A, we should have went farther and potentially won a cup, and we just did it. So let me know what uh, needs to be done. I personally think it's time to blow up the team and get rid of Crosby and and start from scratch. But you guys let me know in the comment section below. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!